can't stand the high prices of battery packs, make your own. Any two identical cells can be used. I choose 18650. Charging wires needed for cell balancing. One delicious 0.2 mm thick piece of nickel strip. Few heat shrinks to protect the wires and the battery itself. Battery connector in my case is a XT60, but you can use whatever you like. I start by connecting the positive terminal of the first battery to the negative terminal of the second battery. The negative terminal is always completely flat. Now it's time to mount the strips where the XT60 plug will be soldered. Uh, I will use AWG12 wires. Um, I add a sticker for extra protection against shortcut. Inspection and quick test. I solder wires to the balancer plug in such way that the red one goes to positive terminal, the black one to the negative terminal, and the middle one, in my case blue slash violet, goes to fixed connection of the cells where we started. Later on this wire turns out to be too short and I have to replace it. Now it is necessary to create soldering points for the wires using solder acid. The terminals should be shorter, but I need longer ones for my project. I think that 5mm is enough to just hook up the wire. Each ring for extra protection. Couldn't leave it like that, so I will just check the connection and replace that wire. If you don't want the money saving to turn into a humiliating failure, check all the joints very carefully. If you plan to use it on a flying model, check it three times before you wrap a tape on. Fiber glass tape and these cells are not going anywhere. Look how pretty it is, and it cost me around 5 bucks. The voltage for storage mode should be a little lower. Um, I will take care of that in a moment, in 
the meantime thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one